Okay, how's it going guys? It's been a while since I've done a uh, tutorial, been pretty busy, but I have something really cool that you guys are all going to like. You may or may not have seen my how to load iOS 5 onto older devices, um, but this is a follow-up. So this is how to get iOS 6 on older devices, and it's super cool. Uh, I've checked it out. And it's awesome. Now, a lot of people have been complaining. A big feature about the old one is they don't know how to install it. And this one is the same. It's super easy. So what you're going to do is go to whitedoor.com. Now, you have to be careful because you have to do it with two O's. Otherwise, you'll go to some bogus site. So go to whitedoor.com, and you'll see this, White Door 6. So what this is, this is iOS 6 for your older devices. Um, I'll go through some of them, but basically it's got tons of good stuff. It's got the voice control, it's got apps, and the cool thing between this one and White Door 5 is that you can actually use the official app store and you can use an alternative app store. Not sure what that means, but the fact that you can use the official app store is huge. Um, it's built for iPhone, the very first generation, and iPhone 3G as well as iPod Touch 1G and 2G. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's got you know switching, video recording, iCloud backup, uh, some of the stuff from I, um, White Door 5 or iOS 5. It's got folders, reminders, um, stuff like that. But here are the devices it works for. All you do to install this, I'm going to stress this really hard because people seem to be getting really confused. All you do, you just click the one you want, okay, and there's two versions for iPhones and only one for iPods. For iPhones, if you are using an unlocked version, so if you have jailbroken your phone and you're unlocking it, you use the unlocked version. If you haven't jailbroken it unlocked, then you don't touch it. You just do the normal version. All you do, click Torrents and Mirrors, so you can download with BitTorrent, um, uTorrent, you know, transmission if you're on Mac or whatever, or you can download it with a mirror. All you do is click download. So here we are. All you do, your download will start in one second. Um, and there it goes. So this part takes a little while. Now I'm going to point something out while it's downloading. If you want push notifications, you have to go to this pushfixer.com. You just install a little patch and it does it for you. Super easy not a big deal. Okay, so now that uh, this is download, I just have it downloaded to my desktop, it's just an IPSW, and so all you do, and I don't have my iPod with me right now, so you're gonna have to bear with me here, but I'll show you. You go to your device, so this is the new iTunes, but it's the same, so you click your device, and you're going to click the restore button. Now while you click the restore button, if you are on Windows, you hold the Shift key, and if you're on Mac, you hold the Option key. What that does is it'll pull up a little window, and the little window will let you browse for the file that you want to restore to. A lot of people miss that on the old one. What you're going to do is browse to this file on the desktop, and by doing that, um, you're basically telling iTunes to restore your older device to this file. And it'll restore just like a regular, uh, just like a regular iPhone. If you do, however, have some troubles, okay, click, you know, come to the installation, read through it, make sure you're not doing it right, and please, 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 you know, instead of panicking and whatever, just look through this little guide. Why can't you install? So um, that'll help you out. Other than that, this firmware is super cool. Like I said, iOS 6 on any older devices, App Store, voice control, um, really good performance, and it runs just like iOS 6. So tell me how this works for you guys, and uh, that's about it. Peace.